All right, haven't done this in a while. Feels like forever since I've sat down and actually like filmed a video. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we're doing something a little bit different. It's not cosplay related, but still like crafty. So I figured it still fit, but whether or not it fits on my channel, I should still do it because it's a video that I wanna make. So I'm making it now. So today I thought it'd be fun to walk you guys through the process of me making a Glamrock Freddy backpack. I have always wanted a Glamrock Freddy backpack. Ever since I got into Security Breach, I have wanted a Glamrock Freddy backpack. Now my dream Glamrock Freddy backpack would be like a Loungefly style backpack. Um, and there is actually a Freddy Fazbear Loungefly backpack that exists and I do have it. Thank you to my friend Aaron from the US who gave it to me because it is a US exclusive. And um, it's a great backpack, but I, I really want like specifically a Glamrock Freddy backpack because Glamrock Freddy is best boy and we love him. So I thought it would be fun. I, I got this idea from watching TikToks to make a Glamrock Freddy backpack, but using like an actual stuffed bear for the backpack. Like I said, I got this video idea from a couple of TikToks that I saw. I couldn't find them, unfortunately, but you'll just have to take my word for it. Um, basically, I've seen TikToks where people have gone to build a bear and made security breach um, plushes using pre-existing build a bear plush animals as their kind of base. So one TikTok I saw, a couple of people went to build a bear and got a bear and an alligator and made Freddy and Monty plushes and they just did felt for the designs on the actual plushes, which I thought was a very smart idea. And then another TikTok I saw was one where somebody went to build a bear, got a Pokemon build a bear and then made that into a backpack. So I kind of in my mind like, merged these two ideas together and thought, why not I make a Glamrock Freddy backpack using a Build-A-Bear and do that. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be walking you guys through the process of doing that. So the first thing I did for this project is I went to my local Build-A-Bear and I made their birthday bear because that seemed like the best kind of base for this project. Um, it took me a long time to figure out which bear I actually wanted. There is a perfect looking one that's kind of orangey on their website, but like shipping is really, really expensive. So I wasn't able to get that one. I wanted to do this project on a budget and the birthday bear is only like $14 and getting that bear online would have been like close to $30. So I decided against that. So I got the bear stuffed and everything and it was actually really awkward um, getting that bear stuffed because the lady was asking me she was like oh who is this for and I said oh it's for me and she's like oh is it your birthday and I'm like no it's not I'm going to customize this bear and make it look like a video game character and she was very understanding she was like oh that's really cool and I was like okay good I'm glad you think that's cool it was really awkward I did not want to be questioned about this project I just wanted to get my bear I didn't want any any additional questions no questions please just give me the bear anyway so I'm starting off with a plain birthday bear and um, we're gonna go from there and make ourselves a Glamrock Freddy backpack. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I did is I started with the various details that go on the bear. So I started with the little tummy um, patch, I guess we can call it. So I used some fleece that I had left over from another project and then I used some blue felt for the lightning bolt and I just sketched that out and then cut it out. Um, sketched it out on like the opposite side of how it's supposed to go so that you don't see the Sharpie. Then I just sewed that onto the fleece like so. Next, I worked on the bow tie. So for this, I just cut out some black felt, made a little rectangle um, by sewing the right sides together. And then I top stitched that by hand, um, as you can see here. Then I just squished it in the middle, sewed it down, and then added a little piece over top for the middle of the bow and sewed that on. And there's the finished bow tie, very nice. Next, I worked on the wrist cuffs. So for this, I just used some strips of felt, just like so, very simple. And for the little details on his wristbands, I actually used 
these rhinestones and I just stuck those on. I originally just stuck them on and used the adhesive that comes on the rhinestones, but I later decided to go and hot glue them just so that they'd stay on better. Then I sewed the little tummy patch to the front. There we go. And changed the blue thread just for the top there. Then I sewed the bow tie on. I just sewed it in the middle and then I sewed it on the two sides just so that it would stay up. Next, I worked on the little red pieces. Now the red pieces, I don't know really what they're supposed to be. Like he has these red pieces on his legs. And so I just decided to make them like little cuffs, I guess. You can do whatever you want. Uh, this is just how I decided to interpret the red patches on his legs. So I just sewed those on and made sure to sew through the actual bear so that they don't move around. There we go. And then I started on the shoulder pad. So I just cut out some strawberry shaped pieces of red felt and sewed those onto the bear. Then I gave him his little earrings. So I just used a strip of red felt for that and simply sewed that onto the ear. Then it was time to work on the designs on his face, which were by far the most challenging part of this project. Um, so here I am just sewing on some blue. Um, I tried to cut the piece of felt so that it would match the contours of his, of his mouth. Um, I did an okay job as you can see, but it's a, like there's, it's not 100%, but you know, I did my best. Then I did the other markings on his face. So um, I just kind of eyeballed it and traced as much as I could. Um, this is going to take maybe a few tries. So make sure that you have a lot of felt that you can work with just in case you mess up the first time. I was able to do it on my first try, luckily. So that was that was very lucky. But um, yeah, basically, you just kind of have to eyeball it and do the best that you can. It is possible. It just takes a little bit of estimation and time and patience. Um, I also cut some of the fur around his eyes. The fur was getting in his eyes, so I just trimmed it a little bit. Um, here I am working on the face markings. And then I moved on to the red. So I just flipped the blue um, to its opposite side and then traced around it in red um, and then flipped it over so that you don't see the Sharpie. I pinned that together and then I sewed it all together. And then I finally sewed that to the actual bear, which um, was surprisingly easy. And here he is uh, with his finished face markings. Then it was time to cover up the little birthday balloons on his feet. So for this, I just used some more fleece that I had, which matches the little um, belly patch. This was also surprisingly easy. I thought it would be difficult because that area kind of balloons out a little bit. Um, so I wasn't sure how the fleece was gonna sit on it, but it actually worked really well. So it's, it's actually very straightforward. Then it was time to put in the zipper. So here I am seam ripping the bear and this felt so wrong. This just felt so wrong. This was when I was really like questioning my life choices at that point, because this just felt so wrong to be un unstuffing a bear. It's just one of those things that just feels really wrong. Anyway, so I seam ripped the whole thing and then I'm here I am measuring the bear just to see how big the pocket should be. And then I made a pocket out of stretchy red uh, fabric that I had left over from another project. I set that aside and then worked on the straps. So for the straps, I just used this um, fabric cord, if that's what we want to call it. Um, and I just made little incisions in the bear 
and then looped the cording through and double knotted it to make a strap. Did that on the other side. This one, um, I did not measure very well, so they aren't totally even. So I definitely recommend being really careful with how you measure it because I tried measuring it and it still came out uneven because I guess I just suck at measuring. So make sure that all of your incisions are even with one another. We'll return to the straps later because there's another step involved in that. Um, but for right now, um, I went ahead and took out all of the stuffing, not all of the stuffing, but a good amount of the stuffing. And then I put a little pocket in there and just sewed that to the sides of the, uh, of the incision, if you will. Um, just like, just like that. Then I took the zipper and just sewed that in um, like I'm doing here. And this was surprisingly simple. I thought that it would be very difficult, but it actually came together very easily. Here I am touching it up a little bit because the incision was a little bit too big for the zipper. So I just sewed up the seam a little bit just to make it fit the zipper better. Then returning to the straps, I just used some brown thread to reinforce the straps. So I just sewed through the bear and through the straps in order to reinforce them so that they wouldn't come loose. Last but not least, I worked on the top hat. So for this, I just took a long rectangle of fabric and made it into a tube by sewing it together. And I added a top to it so that it makes this kind of cylindrical shape. And then I just made the bottom for it and sewed it on, as you can see here. Added the blue strip, sewed that on, and then sewed that to the bear. Uh, make sure that you sew it really, really well because this is one of the things that actually came loose when I first started to wear it. Um, the, the top hat started to come loose, so I recommend maybe like double stitching it um, if possible. And there we go, there he is, he is finished. And here is the finished bear. Quick editor's note, I realized I totally missed a step. Um, the microphone is actually a microphone from Build-A-Bear that I just sewed to his paw. Um, yeah, that's it. Sorry, I forgot about that. Anyway, back to the outro. Isn't he just adorable? So um, obviously he has a backpack in the back so I can unzip this and put all of my worldly treasures inside. Um, the only downside to this is that it doesn't fit a whole lot. I really have to downsize my belongings when I go to, to wear this. So I just kind of put my credit card, my ID and my bus pass in there and then just kind of hope for the best. I can kind of fit my phone in here, but it's, it's a little bit difficult to get my phone to fit in here. I tried to make the pocket as big as possible, um, but just obviously when you're working with a teddy bear, you could only do so much. Um, but aside from that, I'm very happy with how he came out. I think he's absolutely adorable. Um, I keep him in my bed so I can snuggle with him at night. Um, so he's, he's a snuggle buddy as well as a backpack, which is like, a great combination. Um, but anyway, here's some footage of me wearing him. He looks adorable just like carrying him around. I love that he's a backpack. I think that that's just absolutely adorable. I've only worn this out a couple of times so far and I'm hoping that at some point somebody will like recognize that it's Glamrock Freddy and then we can like talk about security breach. That's like the ultimate dream of mine with this backpack. Um, but anyway, there he is. So cute. So anyway, there we are. There we go. Very happy with how he came out. Very proud that I figured out how to do this. I thought that putting this pocket in the back was gonna be really difficult. Um, I didn't know how I was gonna do it. Same with the straps. I wasn't sure how I was gonna do the straps, but I managed to figure those out. So that is all good. Overall, I'm pleasantly surprised by this project. Very happy with how he came out. And yeah, so if you do end up making your own Glamrock Freddy backpack or or any other Security Breach character backpack, um, please by all means tag me on social media so that I can see here are my handles. I'd love to see what you guys do. And yeah, so anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And um, if you'd like to see more videos like this, I put out new videos every Sunday and it'd be awesome to have you here. So feel free to subscribe to see more. Um, as always, thanks for hanging out with me. Really appreciate it. Hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you guys all next time. But until then, Panda Faces, please be sure to take care. Bye.